What's up guys? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make car physics, alright? This should be a very simple and easy to follow tutorial. And we're basically just going to make this car who goes around when you, you know, push the up and down arrow keys. And you can turn the car if you press the left and right arrow keys. Great, let's get started. So you want to open a new project. I'm going to call my tutorial because this is a tutorial. And um, you're going to have a sprite called the car or just car. Next, you're going to draw a car here, all right? I've already, I've gotten this picture from the internet, so I'm just going to use that. Then we're going to create a variable. We're going to call it velocity, all right? Um, vel stands for velocity because it's shorter. Click on OK, and I'm going to hide my variable. Next, we're going to say when green flag clicked, we're going to set our velocity, we're going to set our velocity to zero. And we're also going to go to x zero, y zero. So, you know, we position the car in the middle. Then we're going to say forever, Go to my blocks, and we're going to make a new block called car physics with an input called friction. So now you can control how fast the car, you know, moves, um, when, how fast it slows down or speeds up here. I'm going to put 0 0.8 right now. Oh, sorry, 0 0.8. So right now nothing happens, right? Because we didn't define this block yet. So we're going to change our velocity by... Um, key up arrow pressed plus key down arrow pressed times negative one because you know it's our down arrow which means that if this returns you know if this statement is true it's going to return one but then you know it's a down arrow so if we multiply it by negative one it's going to return negative one so we can go backwards with our velocity so if we run our script now nothing happens right but the variable is changing let me show you Look at that. If we press the up arrow key, it gets larger, and if we press the down arrow key, it gets smaller. Great. Next, we're going to say set our velocity to our velocity multiplied by our friction, which is currently 0 0.8. Now, what this will do is that it's going to slowly make our velocity slower. So if you look here, we get to 4, right? But you can see that there's kind of this time in between. So if I make this um, block here, let's say 0.8. 9.5 and look at the car you can see that you know you can move much faster your maximum speed is faster but if I make a speed if I make the friction let's say 0 0.85 then we can't get to 19 we will go to like 5 point something finally we're going to say move vel steps so we're going to move at our velocity all right so you can see now we can actually move our car and it's good, really good because, you know, we kind of slowly, you know, drift um, when we're not pressing the up and down arrow keys. And we can accelerate, which makes everything more um, real, realistic. And you can see our variable is kind of slowly slowing down and speeding up. That's what makes our car move so smoothly. Then we are going to um, add in our turning functions, right? Because, you know, cars can turn. <laughs> um, so we're going to duplicate this script here. And we're going to say turn if our right arrow key is pressed plus our left arrow key is pressed times negative one because it's our left arrow key. And we're going to multiply this entire output by our velocity. So if our velocity is zero and you're trying to turn, then you can't turn, right? Because, you know, um, you're not moving and you can't turn when you're not moving. So right now, yay, we can actually turn now. This is exactly what we want. You can see. That if we are pressing the up arrow key, we can turn, down arrow key, we can also move backwards. This is really good, alright? So, um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You can, you know, possibly use this in your games and um, simulators. And you can also adjust this value to your own preference. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.